Hi, Andy Rittler. I am here with Ryan Eason. Um, Ryan is with Medical City. I, of course, am the executive director of the Greater Dallas Restaurant Association, and we're actually at 3015 Trinity Groves because Ryan uh, and his team has put together an amazing program for the better part of almost a decade. Uh, you guys have been involved with the Kids Fit Menu Program, and what I wanted to do was just tell a little bit of our, uh, of our um, like Facebook likers out there, a little bit about your program. So can you just tell us what's the purpose, you know, a little bit about the history and what brought us here today? Sure. Well, our program with Medical City has been a long-standing partnership with the Restaurant Association for 10 plus years where we are a strong supporter of the industry and what they're about. And basically it's all about educating the community. And through um, our dietitians communicating with um, the restaurants, but then also working with the awesome program that the Restaurant Association has, which is Texas Pro Start. Um, it's an amazing program. Uh, the students here behind us and here today um, are doing some great things for the, not only for the industry right now, but for the future of the industry. Um, and so the Kids Fit Menu is where the kids create a meal around a restaurant's concept. And if the restaurant picks that meal, then they'll be entered into their kids menu. And for the community health aspect of it, each of these meals that these kids have done, uh, they've created the builds, they've done the nutritional facts, but the most important thing is that these kids meals have two servings of fruits um, or vegetables. And so the community health impact here, just in the DFW area with our current restaurant partners, there's been over a quarter of a million orders uh, from this menu. So we can show through these high school kids' efforts and through a partnerships and, and not mandates that we can improve the health go. of the community That's today. The so tell us who's here today with us. Sure. So we have on the border, we have Snuffers, we have Top Golf, and we have El Phoenix. And so uh, what we were putting on to get together is that we wanted to reach out to more of the bigger brands. And so uh, to show the impact that these kids can have not only here in the DFW area, but throughout the state and also throughout the country, uh, that post-art students can make an impact in the industry. That's terrific. And, and one of the things that I, I really like about the program that I think has been super helpful is that uh, I think it gives it gives not just the restaurants and the and the students an opportunity, but it gives a larger community an opportunity to understand that um, you know kids menus don't have to be chicken nuggets and fries every single time. Yeah. And I've seen I think one I, and I've, I know that you guys have been involved with other restaurants in the past that have done this. I think Cheddar's has been involved in the past, and uh, you've got a couple of others. That Neiman have, Marcus just released it. We're right. working with Fuzzies, and so yeah. And so this is the first one right this is the first one with this spell event but what we took is what we what we learned with the working with those other restaurants right. and now we want to concentrate our efforts because it is a lot of time on the kids and on the instructors uh, to be a part of something like this and so not to adhere with school time or with uh, any uh, class schedules uh, we wanted to concentrate everybody's efforts into this venue and then like you said before we're so thankful for Sharon Demeter donating this space at 3015 for us to have it here uh, and where we can really show highlight the uh, the students and and uh, in front of the restaurants. So the thing, the unfortunate thing is, not everybody today is going to walk away a winner. However, everybody who's participating is going to walk away with something. So what's we've got some very generous donors who have stepped up to the plate, right? Sure. And so there's two answers to that question because the, the all the kids have got that education component to it because one of the things that we want to um, make sure that these kids get a leg up when they further their education in food and hospitality is recipe building, uh, doing their own nutritional facts because we feel that this is kind of the way the industry is heading towards. And so these kids already have a leg up. But the great thing, like you mentioned, is um, the sponsors today, um, Gordon Foods, um, with the help of the Restaurant Association, all of the money that comes from sponsorship for this event is going directly back to the culinary programs. So uh, we're thankful for the for the partnerships, and we think that this is a model that um, will hopefully be sustainable. Yeah, that's terrific. And then we've also got some involvement with some of the other post-secondary schools that are involved with us today as well. Like I think are the Art Institute yes, and Ar the Dallas uh, DCCD, right? Yes, so El Centro Culinary College and the Art Institute um, have both also stepped up in their event. They're also sponsors of the event as well because what we wanted to try to keep the talent here in the DFW area, sure. but, but this gives these um, secondary uh, institutions uh, a platform for them to um, share their programs with the, with the kids that are going to be graduating uh, this year. Uh, what what what, what programs are here and available for them. Terrific. So this combines workforce, nutrition, uh, public education, public relations. Public health. Public health. I mean, this, this yeah. encompasses so many different aspects of what we as an organization are trying to push. 
but really the DFW community is trying to push as well. So thank you for, for putting this on, and we're thankful to be a part of this, uh, and thanks for asking us to be a part of this. So, thank you. Um, how long we're going to be here from at 3015 today from what from so from to now till about six o'clock perfect great thank you very much ryan we appreciate your time and we hope you'll join us if not for this one we're getting ready to plan the next one in right? the spring we're, yeah we're to march and april so april will be the next demo event perfect so thank you for your time and we'll, we look forward to seeing you all thank you thank you